Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Trap, Pennsylvania on this very, very chilly day. It's only like 30 something degrees today and I am freezing. The good news is though, just got Vanabelle some new shoes. Look at that, brand new, brand new tires on Vanabelle. Look how, look how thick that tread is. I'm loving, ah, I'm loving that. That is awesome. You still see the, the color and everything. Digging the new, the new wheels, the new shoes on, on Vanabelle. The, the old tires were, um, were still good. I still could have taken a couple more trips probably back and forth to, to Florida, but I figured before I, I moved down there permanently, why not get the, the new tires that I, I was going to eventually need anyway, and why not get them from a store that I, I trust and, um, and use quite often that was right down the road. So anyway, just spent the last two hours at the tire shop waiting for them to, to change my tires. They did it. I sat there, just played on my phone. It's, it's what it is. Anyway, so that's, that's taken care of. But now that it's like 11 o'clock in the morning, it's, it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon, 11, 11 o'clock, it's, it's, it's late. I'm, I'm used to going out at like nine o'clock and getting things done. It feels like it's, it feels like I wasted a bunch of time. So with that being said, and the fact that it's like four degrees out, 30 something degrees and windy, we're not gonna do anything outside today because it's just, it's too cold. So even though I don't like to do a ton of thrifting videos in a row, we're gonna be doing a ton of thrifting videos in a row because it's just, it's cold. So we are here at the Trap Pennsylvania Goodwill to see what movies and maybe toys and other things they have. <sighs> anyway, like I said, it's very cold. It's very cold. It's really chilly. When it's like, even though spring is here and you can hear the birds chirping, it's still winter. Like it, it was feeling like spring for a little while. It is no longer feeling like spring. It is feeling like, like pure winter out there. But anyway, all right, we're in the Goodwill. Let's go see what they have. It was really quiet when I walked into this uh, this Goodwill, but now the music's back to, to pumping. Anyway, I'm looking through the uh, the toys, which they they now regrettably put on top of the, the clothing. I just, I I guess I get why they do this, so kids don't like rummage through all this stuff, but I, I just, I don't, I don't like it. Anyway, I'm finding this really interesting brown Pokeball, so I like me some Pokemon. I'm a, I'm a Gen 1 Pokemon kind of guy, and I do play Pokemon Go, but I'm not really familiar with the with the brown Pokeball. Leave a comment down below as to what exactly a brown Pokeball does. But this is cool for only um, $3. If it had its tags, if it wasn't used, I would probably pick that up for Sean because that's a cool, that's a cool plush, but I just, I don't know. I don't like, I don't, I don't like buying plush period, even with tags, honestly, at a, at a Goodwill because I just, I just don't, tr I just, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. I just don't trust them. I haven't had breakfast today, by the way. <laughs> so I, I don't trust, I don't trust put, plush, pu plush, plush. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk this morning. I'm, I'm, it's probably because I'm freezing. My, my lips are still frozen. Anyway, I don't trust plush from a, from a Goodwill. If it has tags, I'd still probably buy it for Sean though, but without tags, I'm gonna pass on the, the Pokeball. And I'm probably gonna be passing on movies as well. This is it. Wow. So what a week, maybe two weeks ago when I was last in here, this whole section was completely filled with movies. I question though, if it's really been picked through, have they, have people been coming out here and just buying tons of movies? Or what I'm thinking is they've rotated their stock, which again, I don't understand. I get, I get rotating your stock. If you have, you know, a thousand mugs and you have a thousand more mugs in back. Yes. You, you get rid of these mugs, you send them off to an outlet center or whatever, and you put new mugs out. So it's not the same stuff every single week. I get that. But if you have a thousand mugs on the, on the, on the shelf and you only have two mugs in back, you don't take the thousand mugs, send them out and put the two mugs out. You, you still want to have a, a full shelf of mugs, right? Anyway, same thing with, why am I talking about mugs? Anyway, same thing with the, with the movies. If you have a ton of movies, you, you want to have, you want to have your, your shelves stocked, right? You don't, you don't get rid of everything and put a couple new movies out. You, you just, you, you keep the movies anyway. All right. So I'm going to look through the small little selection of movies they have, and maybe I'll find something, but it's not looking good. I actually did get excited for a second because I saw this, a Dragon Dynasty title here. This is The Rebel, Dragon Dynasty number 32. I'm trying to get every single one of these. I wanna have 
the full Dragon Dynasty collection, even though they, they number these really weird, depending on whether or not you have the Blu-rays or the DVDs. It's weird. Why, why the Rebel? I, I mean, I don't know if the Rebel got a Blu-ray release, but the Re if the Rebel did get a Blu-ray release, the number would be different. It should be just 32, period. That way, whether you have a, a DVD copy or a Blu-ray copy, and you're trying to get all the, all the releases, you don't have to have them on one format. You can have multiple formats. You can have some on DVD. You can have some on Blu-ray. And the numbers would still stay the same. Anyway, they don't do that. It drives me nuts. I'm ranting a lot today. Anyway, so I thought for a second I did not have this title, but I, I looked. I have it. I don't need it. So long, long story short, <laughs> I'm not buying that. I also got kind of excited when I saw this. The Hammer Collection, Quartermass, and The Pit. I don't know if I have... I'm like 95% sure I had this movie. I just don't know if I have it on DVD or, or VHS or what or what I have this on. So I got I got excited when I saw this. That's pretty awesome. It is a region two release, but I have a region free player, so that a not a big deal. Yeah, this is um this is kind of awesome. I may have grabbed this for uh, for me had I had I needed it. I don't again I don't know. I did not even bother to look it up to see if I did need it because unfortunately. Um, Oh my gosh, I hate. Okay, explain. You know, <laughs> let's just let's just rant. Let's just let's just spend today ranting about things I don't understand. What's the point of of these cases? So you you have the disc in the in, in its in its hub as it should be. But then you have these like notches. What's the point of those notches there? They don't do anything because you can't get the DVD out of there. You can't get your you can't get your hand in there. So it's it's completely they completely put. I can't even get this. There we go. I got the disc out. Anyway, look at that, destroyed. So there's no way I'm buying that. But again, there's no, there's no like area to get your finger in there to get the disc out. It makes, it makes no sense. I know other companies don't, jeez. I know other companies don't, don't do that. Yeah, this, see this one does too, look, look right there. It, anyway, it makes no sense. It makes it so you can't get the discs out. And uh, it doesn't matter anyway, that's scratched. So, all right, I'm passing on that. And I think I'm passing on all the movies because I don't see anything over here I need at all. That's a, that's a bummer. I kind of was, I was hoping for a full, a full shelf of, of movies today. All right, well, I'm still gonna look around the rest of the store. Maybe I'll find something else I, uh, I want, or maybe I'll just find more things to rant about. It's a possibility. This is kind of cool, but um, it's from 2006. It's not really vintage or anything. It's a Budweiser Holiday Stein. That's cool. I did just recently pick up a, um, a vintage, like a 1980s vintage Budweiser, uh, like candy jar, I think is what it was, or some kind of just, it's a holiday jar. I guess, I guess you could put candy in it. I'm probably I'm probably gonna put candy in it come, uh, come the holiday season, but it was really cool. It was vintage from the 80s, had the Clydesdales on the front. It was so awesome. I did show it off in a, in a video and I thought to myself, I'm like, I, I wanna get this. I, I wanna put this on a on a shelf somewhere come the holiday season. But then I also thought, eh, I, I don't really drink Danielle. She likes her wine and stuff like that, but she doesn't drink beer really either and stuff like that. So no, by the way, another Budweiser Holiday Stein 2002. So I don't, I don't drink, she doesn't really drink. Why we'd want a Budweiser jar like, w why? I, I want it because it's vintage, it's cool, it's awesome, it's 80s. And I thought to myself, okay, she's, she's probably not gonna want this. It doesn't really make sense. But even she was like, that is amazing. You have to get that. We need to put that on a shelf during uh, during Christmas. So I'm looking forward to to having that on display come, uh, come Christmas. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm just talking about weird, random things today. It's a weird, random things today kind of kind of day. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make the best of the today, of today. Cause I just spent like a thousand dollars on, on tires, which is fine, but it'd make me feel a little bit better if I could find some movies I want to pick up too. I almost completely forgot to look through the, uh, the CDs. And, uh, for a second, I thought that would have been a mistake because I'm seeing things like Nirvana, which is really awesome. And, um, no doubt and Buck Cherry and damn Yankees and all kinds of interesting music bands I actually enjoy, like Collective Soul. I'm, I'm a Collective Soul fan. I, I like their music, but this is mostly all stuff I either already have, or if it's something I don't have, it's just not really something I'm like 
dying to pick up for, for two dollars not that two dollars is a bad deal for a for a cd but i don't know it's, it's just stuff i'm like I, I it's not gonna go in my ipod it's stuff I, I i would want for my collection i guess but it's nothing i'm like dying to have and right now i just with with the move going on and all the cds i gotta put away as it is already i haven't even gotten around to putting all my cds in like sleeves yet and they all have to be taken care of once i get down there that's a whole thing so when it comes to cds it was something i really wanted if it's a good like punk cd or ska cd i would totally pick it up but otherwise i'm probably just gonna end up passing and i'm gonna pass on all those funny there's nothing in here funny side up egg corral i mean that'd be cool if they're actually there's anything in that box whatsoever this goodwill has a bad habit of putting out packages with nothing in them that's not the first time and not even the second time not even the third time i've come across an empty box inside this uh this goodwill before bugs in the kitchen anyway all right um passing on the the cds also the honestly the shelves are kind of just barren in general there's not really a whole heck of a lot inside this goodwill it's kind of kind of empty in here right now unfortunately i'm thinking this store might be a bust something else we don't need at the moment are more toys for sean he would love this this marvel mania wor whirler this this is pretty cool he would totally dig this but again it, we've got so much stuff to take down there right now like just there there's still so much stuff that has to be taken down to to florida so things like this i he would love this i would totally want to pick this up for him maybe and it's only it's only five bucks that's not bad but we're just gonna pass on that for now. However, if Disney Perfection was still in its box, that I might have to pick up. That is cool. I, I want to get all those classic board games and whatnot and, and games like that. I wanna get all those classic games in Disney form because pretty much all those games like Perfection and Clue and um, Life and Monopoly and all that stuff, all those, all those classic games, they've all received like Disney versions. And I would love to have a shelf just full of all those those Disney games. It's it's a goal of mine to get to get all of those. And perfection's pretty cool, but again, it's not in its box, so I'm gonna end up passing on that. And yeah, my son would love this, but for right now, we're gonna pass because I just th there's just too much stuff to take down to Florida as it is. I don't need an another box to find to find a space for to cram into the van. I'm already like 95% sure that all the stuff I have left to take down probably isn't going to fit in my van so i don't need more all right well i'm thinking that's gonna do it for for the goodwill i'm not really finding anything i want though this bike <laughs> this bike is actually really awesome for for a hundred dollars i don't really know if that's um it's a nice bike but i don't really think that's a that's a hundred dollar bike not in that condition anyway i i don't know anyway so it's gonna be a bust here there was no toys i wanted there's no movies I want it. I'm passing on the bike. Look at the cool Pennywise weird, I was gonna say hoodie, but it's like, I don't know. It's like this weird, like, like when there's like that, that sweat, that anti-sweat material, that is weird. Anyway, I'm passing on the, the Pennywise. I don't need that. And I just got word from an employee who I'm friends with here that uh, rumor has it, they're gonna start sending their movies that they get in essential processing so that they can scan the barcodes and see if they're worth anything. So even the movies are going to be getting the, uh, the treatment now. A lot of people, like myself, are not the biggest fan of Goodwill because you can't really find good deals at Goodwill anymore. They take their stuff and if it's like something interesting, they'll, they'll be like, okay, this might be worth money. We're gonna put it on, on our eBay store or put it online or put it in a display case or put some crazy number on it or put, you know, again, put it online or something like that. And then you can't find a good deal. Although you still can occasionally find good deals, but I think it's more of an accident. If you find a good deal at a good one, like that PlayStation I found and the N64 I found, I think that was an accident. That kind of stuff probably should have made it into it as into it as I can't talk. It's so cold. <sighs> that kind of stuff probably should have made it into a display case. Or made it onto their their like eBay store or whatever. Anyway, good deals just really can't be found at Goodwill much anymore. 
but you could still get good deals on movies because they didn't really check them. You would find out of print stuff, cool things like that. But I guess uh, now they're going to start checking the barcodes of, of movies as well. So this is why I stick to mom and pop stop, mom and pop shops. <sighs> I'm cold, <laughs> freezing right now. All right. With that being said, um, I did not find anything there. So I guess we'll, I, I don't, again, it's, it's late in the afternoon. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere crazy, but I guess we'll go check Liberty Ministry Thrift. We'll see what they have. Maybe we'll stop in quickly to, um, to Worthwhile and see what they have. And then I guess after that, just home. So hopefully I'll find something I want to pick up. All right, let's give this a, um, another shot. We're now in Collegeville, Pennsylvania, right down the road, a good five minute drive down the road. And we're here at Liberty Ministry Thrift. So here's the issue. I kind of put, what's that saying? Don't put all your, your, oh, that sun feels good. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I kind of did. My, my eggs were all in the basket known as Goodwill. I was kind of expecting Goodwill to be the store where I found some good deals today. But again, they were, they were empty. There was really nothing there. Liberty Ministry Thrift, it's, um, it's hit or miss. I, I, I have found amazing deals in here before. I, I have found amazing deals in every single, pretty much every single thrift store I've ever been in multiple times. But um, this one is hit or miss. I, I, I'm keeping that power of positivity alive, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm hoping maybe possibly there's, uh, there's something in here I need. My goal is to find at least one, one good movie today that I need for me personally, for my collection. If I can do that, I'll be happy. You know what? I'll take a good punk CD, a good ska CD. CD. I'll even take a good punk or ska record. I'll take that as well. Just one cool thing that I want to pick up for me personally that's media related. I'll be happy. I'm still keeping the power of positivity alive, but as far as movies are concerned, I'm not seeing anything. No DVDs, no Blu-rays. I want to pick up. Maybe the coolest thing they had was the Steelbook DVD release of The Departed, which is which is cool, but I don't I don't need that. So I'm going to end up passing on that. They also had the old school Dimension release of Scream, which is also kind of cool, but also something I don't need. So I'm going to pass on that and I'm just going to end up passing on all the movies again. Nothing here I need to pick up. So I'm going to go through the the records quickly. I'm going to go through the CDs quickly as well, but Again, keeping that power of positivity alive, but I'm not, I'm not holding my breath. All right, so I, I went through all the records, nothing over here I want to pick up, but I also went through all the CDs and I did find this. Hallmark celebrates 75 years with Mickey. This is actually kind of an awesome CD. Disc, not in the greatest of condition, but also not terrible either. So I'm going to grab this for, for my collection. That's the only thing over there I found that I want. Does this technically count as, I mean, I, it, it does. It technically counts as, as something I'm picking up for my collection. So <laughs> is, is that it for today? Did I kind of jinx myself? Maybe, possibly, but all right. I'm picking up some, some Hallmark Mickey Mouse and that, and that might be it. Hold on. We're not quite done yet because I did come over here to look through their display case. Yeah. Even this store has a display case as well. And I found all these records down here for $5 a piece. And within them, I found the Monkees' greatest hits. I am a huge, huge Monkees fan, as you guys probably at this point know. Better, way better than those, those Beatles guys. Anyway, this is awesome. That is cool. For five bucks, I'm definitely picking this up. So, all right, I found a record. I found a, um, a CD. I found, I found music. I'm, I'm happy. I would still like to find a DVD or a Blu-ray. That would be nice, but I'm pretty happy with my, my record and, um, and CD find. So that's, that's cool. But again, a DVD or a Blu-ray would just make this day slightly better. All right, guys. So yeah, that's going to do it for the uh, Liberty Ministry Thrift here in, in Collegeville. All, I mean, not bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy about the monkeys. The, the Mickey is pretty cool. I got a Mickey and I got a monkey. The, uh, the monkeys is, is, is pretty cool. That's amazing. And the, uh, the Mickey is also pretty awesome, but all right, that's going to do it for this store. I'm thinking, you know what? We're already kind of on the way. Let's go down the road, just a, a like a few miles, hit up the, uh, the library that's down there, which again is very hit or miss, but you never know. I have found good deals there as well. I have found criterions at that library before. So let's go down there, see what they have and then maybe worthwhile. And then we're just going to go home. So 
maybe one of those two stores will have a DVD and or a Blu-ray. I want to pick up. Pick, pick. Oh my gosh, it's getting it's cold. Pick up. If not, just the music. <laughs> All right, let's let's go to our next door. Ugh. Okay, drove five or not probably not even five minutes down the road to the the Lower Providence Community Library. Where again, I have found some some decent deals at before. So hopefully today is one of those days where I find some more decent deals. Oh my gosh. I, I know I keep talking about how cold it is, but geez, like, I don't know. I think my body just was starting to really get used to the warm weather. Now that it's cold, I'm, I'm not, I'm not used to this. And the, the wind, the wind's what's killing me. Honestly, when the wind isn't, isn't picking up and the, the sun is on me, it's not too bad. But as soon as that wind kicks in, it's just, it's way too, way too cold. Anyway, Lower Providence Community Library. Can you tell I'm excited to move to warm, sunny Florida? Let's go see what uh, what movies they have here. Wow, so, all right, um, in and out. Not because they did not have anything I wanted, but because they did not have any movies at all. I asked and they said, that the um, whoever's in charge of, I guess, all the all the libraries in the area, they're under, under like one branch. They have decided to no longer accept used DVDs and used Blu-rays. No more movies at any of the local libraries. That is insane. I mean, sign of the times, I, I guess. You know, for for a place like a library, that's probably like, oh no. Are, you know, are books going to be a thing in the future? I mean, books will always be a thing, but are, are physical books going to be a thing? Will everybody everybody just use their, their Kindles? You'd think a place like this would want to keep physical media alive, but no, they're no longer, they're no longer accepting DVDs or Blu-rays. So, I mean, I'm moving in two weeks, so not that big of a deal, but if I was staying, I guess that would be the last time I would ever visit this library, which is kind of a shame. I like this library, but anyway... All right, well, no, no movies at the, the Lower Providence Community Library anymore. Let's go hit up uh, Worthwhile and see if it's actually worth my while. Okay, one last shot at finding myself a, um, a movie today. We are here at Worthwhile Thrift. This is probably one of the, I'm, let, me, let me just say, I love this store. I'm not, I'm not bad-mouthing this store at all. It is fantastic, great prices in here. If you're looking for good deals on thrifting items, if you're looking for good deals on anything, this is a store. the store in the area to hit up. They have the best prices out of all the stores in the area. Out of all the different thrift stores, this store has the best prices, period. The issue is when it comes to, to movies, it is very hit or miss. I I walk out of here more often than, than not empty-handed. So it's not the it's not the oh my gosh. It's not that they don't have <laughs> good things here. And the pricing's not good. The pricing is fantastic. It's amazing. But it's just, will they actually have anything I need? I don't know. <sighs> Movies are only a dollar, so we're we're we're, we're gonna look. Jeez. Yeah, it's it's cold. My mouth is is numb. And no, I did not eat breakfast today. But all right, let's dive into the movies. Let's see what they have. And already it's looking a little little slim pickings. Okay, so yeah, again, pickings were were slim. There is nothing here I want to pick up. Not a single movie I need for my my collection. Nothing I even want to grab for for the store. So, all right. I'm going to look around the rest of the store just just quickly in hopes of maybe finding something else interesting, but as far as media is concerned, it's just going to be the uh, the Monkeys record and the um, the Mickey CD, which don't get me wrong, again, it's cool, it's awesome. I'm happy about those finds, but that's going to be it. Maybe it's just a bad time of the year to to be thrifting in this area. I guess maybe people haven't really done their their spring cleaning yet because I, I'm not really finding much of anything anywhere. The, the toy section is also very, very empty here. So Goodwill was empty. This store's empty. The, 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 library, the library is just no longer carrying movies. And then Liberty, which was, Liberty was okay. Liberty was not, was not empty. There just really wasn't anything there I wanted other than the, the Mickey CD and the, the Monkeys record. So 
I don't know, again, kind of slim pickings all around. They do still have the life-size walking doll, Missy Walker. <laughs> she She's also moved. She's like shifted in her, her, her box since last time I've been in here. Do you know why? Because at night she gets up, walks around the store, and looks for people to, to murder. There's a reason why that's been here for like a month now. Nobody's gonna buy that. That thing is terrifying. All right, well, that's gonna do it for worthwhile thrift. And I think that's gonna do it for just thrifting today in general. <laughs> Again, it's kind of nice out when it's not when it's not windy. It's pretty it's pretty good with the the sun on me, but anyway, all right, that's that's gonna do it for for today. Not my greatest thrift OC. And then the wind picks up and it gets very chilly. <laughs> yeah, see now now I'm freezing. I was I was warm. I was like, oh this is nice. Now I'm cold again. Anyway. Yeah, not my best thrifting adventure ever, but that's the way it goes. When you when you get, when you go thrifting, some days you hit big, some days not so much. Some days you come up completely empty-handed. There have been many days in the past where I've gone out thrifting and I haven't found anything that any of the stores I've hit up. But then other days you find huge hauls. It just it's the it's the luck of the draw. You just never know how your day is going to turn out. And today did not turn out all that great. Although again, the Mickey CD is pretty cool. And the monkey's record, I mean, I need some monkeys for my record collection because I love me some monkeys. That's a pretty cool find. I was, I was pretty happy about that for five bucks. It seemed like a good deal. But again, that's gonna do it. I'm, I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm tired. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back home. So as always guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single that crow, that crow really wants you guys to become a patron. If you do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest on t-shirts and proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show. And they do keep the show going, so I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag Mickey and Monkeys. Hashtag Mickey and Monkeys if you guys watch this video all the way until the very the very end but you gotta spell monkeys right all right so again guys that's gonna do it so like i said hit that like button hit that subscribe button and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed then i will see you guys in the next video all right thanks for watching have a good one my new shiny uh, dirty my new shiny tires all right thanks for watching have a good one guys bye okay so i tried one last attempt at finding a movie i decided to come out to the um the goodwill here in phoenixville pennsylvania not because i wanted to go to the burger king down the street <laughs> but anyway, I decided I'm driving past. Let's stop in really quickly. Let's see what they have. And the good news is they actually did restock a little bit. I mean, when I was in here a couple of days ago, they were completely restocked, but they actually put more movies out, which is great. Nothing I needed. Not a single movie I needed to pick up. So that was a bust. Also, I know a lot of you guys have comments about that giant troll doll I saw a couple of days ago. Apparently it was worth a bunch of money. I did not know that. Again, I don't really resell that kind of stuff, so I did not realize that was something I probably should have picked up. Looking back on it, yeah, maybe I should have quickly, quickly eBayed that. But anyway, so that's not here, that's gone. The good news also though, is that um, a lot of those Funko Pops they had were still here. So I guess the Funko Pop bubble has popped because I remember years ago, anytime this store or any Goodwill would get in Funko Pops, they would sell immediately. They'd be gone. They're all pretty much still here. <laughs> Scare the heck out of me. They're all pretty much still, still here. And they're all still marked at, at $10 a piece. But this was a this was a new one. They had a whole bunch of Kingdom Hearts Funko Pops they had just put out. This one was marked at only $4. All the rest of them were marked at $10. So I don't know why Pete was a little bit cheaper, but you know what? I like uh, I like the Pete. That is that is awesome. I'm going to uh, well, obviously, obviously, I'm going to pick this up. I did pick this up. I bought the the Pete the the Pete. It's so gold. I did pick up the Pete Funko Pop. That is awesome for four bucks. Had to grab him. But all right, that's it. That's it. <laughs> there was no, there was nothing in that I wanted. Not a single movie I wanted to pick up. That lady really did scare the heck out of me. I did not expect her. She did my viewfinder. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go get some Burger King. That's it. I'm done. I quit for the day. No movies, but monkeys. 
uh, Mickey and, and a Pete. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Uh, I need to get some caffeine in me. Bye.